Hi there guys, welcome to another video here at Online Driving Academy. Hope you are all doing well. As always, before we start our videos, we show you guys the latest testimonials. So question one, what do reservation signs do? Now, when you are reading the question, you can see the word reservation, right? And you can sort of get an idea from that as to what these signs will do. So let's look at our options. We have option A, will it warn you of hazards ahead? Is it option B, will it inform you of a particular section of the road or parking area that is reserved for a specific type of vehicle only? Or is it option C, it will inform you of a restaurant ahead. So what we can see is from these three options that we have, option B makes the most sense because it ties in with the word reservation, right? Because we can see it will inform you of a particular section of the road or parking area that is reserved for a specific type of vehicle only. Option B is your correct answer. Question two. What color are reservation signs? Are they blue and white? Are they red and white? Or are they red and yellow? Now the correct answer here will in fact be blue and white. Question three, what does this sign mean? Now we can see there's a white border. There's a blue background. There's a capital letter P and we can see a wheelchair, right? A person in a wheelchair. So is it option A? This parking is reserved for vehicles carrying disabled persons only. Is it option B? This area is reserved for police vehicles only. Or is it option C? This parking is reserved for taxis only. Now, because we can see a person in a wheelchair, automatically we will know, okay, it's for disabled persons. Therefore, option A is your correct answer. Question four, what does the sign mean? Now, again, we can see there's a white border, a blue background, and it is in sort of a rectangular shape. And we can see a capital letter P, but this time it says 60 minutes. So what could that possibly mean? Is it option A, this parking is reserved for emergency vehicles only? Is it option B, this area is reserved for 60 vehicles only? Or is it option C, this parking is reserved for a maximum of 60 minutes? Now obviously because it says 60 minutes here, only option C will tell us that this parking is reserved for a maximum of 60 minutes. Therefore, option C will be the correct answer. Question five, what is the purpose of limit prohibition signs? Is it option A, it is to warn you of something dangerous? Is it option B, it is to set a specific limit which is allowed on the road? Or is it option C, it is to give more information about parking spots? So A and C don't make any sense, right? Because with option A, it is to warn you of something hazardous. That will be a warning sign, not a limit prohibition sign. And it doesn't tell you anything about parking spots. So the correct answer will be option B. It is to set a specific limit which is allowed on the road. Question six. What are the general colors of prohibition signs? Now they're asking for the general colors because you remember we get our normal signs and we get your temporary signs, right? So is it option A? red and white is it option b blue and white or is it option c green and white now the correct answer will be option a red and white now coming back to why i said general colors because remember if a sign is a temporary sign then it will be yellow you'll have a yellow background so we're not asking you about the temporary signs we're just asking you about the general normal sign question seven what does this sign mean you can see a red border with a white background. And you can see two sort of arrows, right, pointing inwards. We can see it says 2.1 and there's an M there. That M will stand for meters. So is it option A? 
there is a width limit in this area? Is it option B, there is a height limit in this area? Or is it option C, there is a weight limit in this area? Now this particular sign is talking about the width, right? Because if it's talking about length, it will show you a vehicle that is a side view of the vehicle. So this is talking about width. So the correct answer here will be option A. If your vehicle is wider than 2.1 meters, then it is not allowed in that area or you won't be able to go into a specific area. Question 8. What does this sign mean? Now here we can see again a red border with a white background. We can see two arrows pointing inwards. We can see 15 meters. But this is a side view of a truck. So what are they talking about in this sign? Are they talking about what? Are they talking about length? Or are they talking about weight? So is it option A, there is a width limit in this area? Is it option B, there is a length limit in this area? Or is it option C, there is a weight limit in this area? Correct answer will indeed be option B. Question 9. What does this sign mean? Now we can see a red border, a white background, and there is a number in the sign, right? We have the number 100. And automatically, if you have watched my previous videos, you should know what this is, right? This is a speed limit, a maximum speed limit. So is it option A, there is a speed limit of 100 kilometers an hour? Is it option B, there is a limit of 100 vehicles in this area? Or is it option C, the minimum speed limit is 100 kilometers an hour? And the correct answer will be option A, there is a speed limit of 100 kilometers an hour. Question 10. What does this sign mean? Again, circular sign, red border, white background. However, we can see it says 12T. Now this is referring to 12 tons, right? Is it option A, the minimum speed limit is 12 kilometers an hour? Is it option B, there is a speed limit of 12 kilometers an hour? Or is it option C, there is a weight limit of 12 tons in this area? The correct answer will be option C. Question 11. What is the purpose of command signs? Is it option A, to control parking spaces? Is it option B, to indicate a hazard? Or is it option C, to give a certain instruction? Now think about the word command. What, is, what does it mean when you command someone to do something? You're giving them an instruction. Therefore, the correct answer will be option C. Question 12. What does this sign mean? Now we can see there's a white border, a blue background, and the sign is in a circle shape, right? And we can see the capital letter T in that sign. So what does that T stand for? Is it option A, only trucks are allowed on this road? Is it option B, you will have to pay a toll fee on this road? Or is it option C, trucks are not allowed on this road? Now the correct answer will be option B. This T will stand for toll. Question 13. What does the sign mean? Again, we can see a circle shape with a blue background and a white border. However, we can see sort of a, a headlight, right? This will resemble a headlight and we can see the rays of light coming out of this headlight. So is it option A? Is it all cars in this lane must have lights? Is it option B? You must switch your lights off when you see the sign. Or is it option C? You must switch on your headlights when you see the sign. Now, the correct answer will indeed be option C. When you see the sign, you will have to switch on your headlights. Question 14. What does the sign mean? Again, circle sign, white border, blue background. And we can see the number 50 in the sign. Now, remember, when you see this sign, this is indicating to you the minimum speed limit, right? If there's a red border and a white background, and if this writing is in black, then that will give you the maximum speed limit. So let us look at the options. Option A, only 50 cars are allowed on this road. Is option B, your maximum speed must be 50 kilometers an hour or less. Or is it option C, your minimum speed must be 50 kilometers an hour or more. Now the correct answer here will be option C, your minimum speed must be 50 kilometers an hour or more. Question 15. When should you proceed once you see the sign? Now let us look at the sign. This is a stop sign. However, we can see there's another sort of sign under that, right? This is a rectangular sign with a red background and white border. 
And we can see there's number three in that sign. So this is actually indicating to you the number of stop signs here. This will be the third stop sign. So when should you proceed once you see this third stop sign? Is it option A? You should move off after three minutes. Is it option B? You should move off after three seconds. Or is it option C? Only after all the vehicles that arrived before you at the other two stop lines have moved off. Remember, they are talking about the other two stop lines. Right, so the correct answer here will be option C. Question 16. When should you proceed once you see this sign? Now, this is the exact same sign as the previous sign. However, there is no longer a number 3 here. This will be your number 4. And that will mean that this is the fourth stop sign there. So it means there will be three other stop signs right in this area. Is it option A? You should move off after 3 minutes. Is it option B? You should move off after 3 seconds. Or is it option C? Only after all the vehicles that arrived before you at the other three stop lines have moved off. Correct answer will be option C. Question 17. If you are in an accident, right? An accident in which no one has been injured. How many hours do you have to report it to the police? Now remember, this is exactly from when the accident happens. How many hours do you have from then to report it to the police? Is it within 90 hours? Is it within 24 hours? Or is it within 36 hours? Or is it within 36 hours? Now, the correct option will be within 24 hours. Are you allowed to leave your vehicle unattended with the engine running? Is it option A? No. Option B? Yes. Or is it option C? Only on weekends. The correct answer to this will be option A. You are not allowed to leave a vehicle unattended while the engine is running. Question 19. What are the first two things that you should do if you are involved in an accident? Is it option A? Turn your radio off and close your sunroof. Is it option B, check your mirror and carry on driving? Or is it option C, immediately stop your vehicle and check if anyone is injured? Now obviously the logical thing to do would be to stop your vehicle and check if anyone is injured. So the correct answer would be option C. Question 20. Are children under 14 years of age exempt from using a seatbelt? Is it option A, yes? Is it option B, yes, but only on weekends? Or is it option C? No, no one is exempt from using a seatbelt. Obviously, the correct answer will be option C. No one is exempt from using a seatbelt. Question 21. What type of signs will have a yellow background? Now, remember, I've mentioned this in the beginning of this video. So, is it option A, precaution signs? Is it option B, hazardous signs? Or is it option C, temporary signs? Correct answer will be Option C. Question 22. What do information signs inform you about? Right, read the question carefully. Information signs. Will it inform you about the road layouts ahead? Will it inform you about fishing spots ahead? Or will it inform you about parking spots ahead? The correct answer will be option A, road layouts ahead. Question 23. What should you use to tow a vehicle with defective brakes? So defective brakes means the brakes do not work, right? Is it option A, a tow rope that is shorter than 2.5 meters? Is it option B, a solid tow bar? Or is it option C, a towing chain? Now the correct answer will be option B. Because if you can look at option A and option C, option A would be a tow rope, option B would it be a towing chain. If the vehicle that you are towing does not have brakes, when you slow down as the vehicle that is towing the towed vehicle, it's obviously going to bump into you, right? So if you have a solid tow bar, that will prevent the vehicle from bashing into you. Question 24. Which of the following is incorrect? Is it option A? You may use your hooter in emergencies. Is it option B? You may reverse if it is safe to do so. Or is it option C? You may drive along a pavement. So obviously you're not allowed to drive along a pavement. Therefore, option C will be your correct answer. Question 25. What should you do when driving? Is it option A, you should wear sandals? Is it option B, 
you must keep both hands on the steering wheel, or is it option C, you must listen to the radio? Obviously, the main and the most important part here would be option B, you must keep both hands on the steering wheel. Now, just as a quick tip to you guys, can you see option A, it will say you should wear sandals when driving. Now, once you write your learner's license test, obviously, if you pass, you're going to then start to learn how to drive. And if you are driving a manual vehicle, my tip to you would be to use sandals when you first are learning how to drive a manual vehicle because if you use a shoe in a nice thin base, then you can actually feel exactly where the biting point is so you won't switch off as much, right? If you wear a shoe with a very thick base, you won't be able to actually feel where the biting point is. So obviously you're going to switch off um, quite a few more times than you would if you wear a shoe with a thin base. So that's just my small tip to you guys. Question 26. What does this sign mean? Now we can see this is a triangular shaped sign with a red border and a white background. We can see there's an exclamation mark there and in the sort of rectangular shaped sign below it, it says potholes. So obviously this is pretty straightforward. Is it option A, there are potholes ahead? Is it option B, there's a police station ahead? Or is it option C, there are speed humps ahead? Correct answer will be option A. Question 27. What does a sign mean? Again, triangular shape with a red border, white background, meaning it's a warning sign. And we can see sort of a lightning bolt with an arrowhead there. Is it option A? There's a race ahead. Is it option B? There's lightning ahead. Or is it option C? There are overhead electric cables ahead. The correct answer here will be option C. Question 28. What does this sign mean? Again, there's a warning sign. However, within this warning sign, we can see there's an elephant there. So what will the sign mean? Is it option A? There are sheep ahead. Is it option B? There are hippos ahead. Or is it option C? There are elephants ahead. Now, obviously, the correct answer here would be option C. Question 29. What does this sign mean? Now we can see another warning sign. But within this warning sign, we can see there's a hippo, right? That that image there is a hippo. So is it option A, there are sheep ahead? Is it option B, there are hippos ahead? Or is it option C, there are elephants ahead? Now the correct answer here would be option B. Question 30. What does this sign mean? Now this is another warning sign. And in this warning sign, we can see a sheep. So is it option A, there are sheep ahead? Is it option B, there are hippos ahead? Or is it option C, there are elephants ahead? Now, the correct answer here would be option A. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you found it useful. Again, I want to wish you all the best if you are writing your learner's license test soon. All the best, guys. And yeah, see you on the next video. Goodbye.